Alright, welcome back guys. Making a rubber tree set. Gathering sack. Because I finally have this stuff to make stainless steel. And it's a long drawn out freaking process. So I didn't bother making you guys sit and watch me go through it. It took me probably a good hour to get everything done. Alright, so to make the coagulator we need a stainless steel machine casing and four screws and some tools. So let's get these screws made. Where did I just put it? There it is. Alright, four screws. This in the middle. Hammer. Screwdriver. Wrench. Coag you later. About freaking time. Alright, so. Now we need to put this thing right there. And now it will do its job over time. And is there an out for this thing? If there is, I would expect it to be on the bottom. Yes, there is. So... I will end up making another pipe, another electrum pipe, and uh, bring it up here probably to this chest. This is how much I ended up going through just to hand wash it. So about 14 pieces um, broken here. And then hand washed all 28 and that got me what I needed alright so now we're going to try this thing out <coughs> problem is I don't have both of these hooked up to distilled water right now so I'm going to have to Unwrench this one. I'm going to end up making another boiler. I'm not sure if I'm going to make a steel one this time. Or if I'm just going to make a... Uh, like bismuth or lead or maybe ingvar or something like that. Because I don't really think I need to waste the steel on another boiler. And I may even... I did not put all that in there, did I? Holy crap, I guess I did. Well, that means I need to shut that off. And I definitely don't want all that getting cooked in that one because that one is only hooked up to a regular water line. It's not hooked up to the uh, distilled. Okay, that is still connected. Now, all these noisy things up here drive me crazy. Let's go ahead and sleep so they'll go away. I'll have to go out and kill the spider though. Yeah, I figured. You guys are going to be right above me. Alright, give me this. I oh, see there's only two in there. 
Where did I put all the rest? Oh, I already put them in there. I'm losing my mind. Alright, y'all's getting axed. Come here. Come here. Come on, get down here. Just gonna bring every damn zombie in the neighborhood over. But at least it'll get you guys out of here. Maybe you'll shut up for a little bit. Alright, that's up. So now we need to kick this one on. Because this is the one that actually has power. And I got that set now, so it's going in. And I already put three sticky resin in. These I actually made a tree tap. Went out and tap the tree but these I use slime balls and cooked them in here all right and it's going now should take just a second and it should start popping out there and I got this hooked up to this line so it'll output into there but I really probably should put one on this side to go to my overflow tank here. Because right now, nothing's going in there. Because it's using what's in here. And my guess is, since this thing's cooled off already, that it is calcified. So let's pop it back off of there. And put it back on. And we'll just throw this in here. And get that all up to speed. And just because I don't have that going I'm going to cheat this process just a little and take that off and that'll let it build up steam in the pipe build up pressure in the boiler and in the pipe and when it gets to about the orange, then I'll click it back on. And that'll actually uh, kick it to where it'll go. And this thing is not starting, so I need to get it off there. Because that means that it didn't get any water. And when it does actually start taking water, it's going to blow up. And I don't want to do that. So, we'll just get rid of that one. Alright, and it's up to yellow. I'll kick that back on. Ouch, you're a jerk. I got any arrows on me? No, I do not. Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Come over here, jerkwad. Ouch. Get back over here. Ouch. You're a jerk. Get over here. Where I can give you a good sound whacking. Alright, is this thing doing anything yet? How's this thing not doing anything yet? Oh, it's still on the green. Should have plenty of pressure because that's still 
at yellow. Just got to get up to enough pressure. And I also made my blast furnace. I haven't got anything heating it yet, but I made that. Why is this thing not going? Hmm. Huh. It's just starting to perturb me. So I know it has to take power from the top. Because <laughs> I have this one set up before. This is very weird. Give me you. Get back down there. You get on there. Alright, this spider's gotta go. Come here, spider boy. Yeah, you. You gotta go. You're just quite annoying. Alright. Pump is done. Is that connected? Oh, that wasn't connected. Why were you not connected? Alright, there we go. Now it's connected. Now, once that gets done pumping, I don't know it's got enough water in it. The nice thing is, as soon as this gets done, I'll be able to hook up my shredder so I can, uh, oh, it's actually running. And there we go, we got our first rubber chips. So I can just let this sit here and go, man, it took that thing forever to get done. So I can just let this sit here and do its thing. Now, what I will probably end up doing later on eventually is set up a fluid pipe coming out of here, going to a few of these, depending on how much rubber I actually need, because this will run a lot faster than what this will. If you notice, it ticks along pretty slow there. It is one for one. Alright, so, now. First thing we need rubber for is an RE battery. And that needs a rubber sheet or a rubber bar. So that's good. The rubber sheets is where we're going to run into trouble. And I think I have a way of doing it that won't kill me. But I'm not positive. We're going to have to do a little bit of testing. So, there's my rubber bar. Now, tin plate. And wire cutters. Nope, not that one. There you go. Wire, rubber, done. Now I need four of them. The other ones are for a bat box, but I gotta get more rubber before I can do the bat box. So. There's our RE battery. Now we need to make the generator. And for that, I need a furnace. And for some reason, I don't have enough iron plates in here. 
I had eight of them. There's my iron furnace. There's my RE battery. Now I need three iron plates, and for some reason, I don't have them. So we'll just use some of this. Usually I don't like to redo iron like this. I usually like to make some if I got it available. But I haven't been making any right now because I want to use my shredder instead of wasting my hammer. Oh, it's full again. Alright, well, while it's doing that, we can turn that over there. Let it kick that back on. We can kick that one off for a little bit. Because it's got plenty in there to run for a little bit. And I got the plate mold in there. So now I just got to wait for this to get done. And since I now have my rubber, I can actually make the uh, sterling that I wanted to make. I'm not going to worry about making it right now. I'll just make a regular generator right now. But I will have the ability. And why are you not kicking on? Because you got all the way cold, so now you got to get heated up. The good thing is, here real soon, I'll be able to uh, make a centrifuge. I'll just have to use my motor, because I got this electric motor. Um... I just have to have it play double duty for right now until I get the aluminum out of the centrifuge and then I'll be able to uh, get more stuff out of my material because I won't have to hand wash the second part. Alright, while this is doing its thing Let's go ahead and get this bat box started. Can at least get two of the wires done here. There we go. Now, do I got another tin plate in here? No, I don't. Well, tin will be easy to do. Mm, we'll throw three more in there. That might get us up there. You can't put bones in there. Oh, light already, would you? Alright. And it's finally clicked on. So one nice thing about using... Um, charcoal for this. You're not wasting as much power or as much other stuff. And there's the third one I need so I can make all three of my batteries once I get the tin made. more crap on me than know what to do with here but that's quite usual man I thought that would get done we'll just give you six and I know you'll get done now once I get all of this done I'm going to process all of this brown limonite 
and then I'll be able to make my tree chopper. Hopefully this will be the last axe I need until I get that done. Let's see. Did we get up to 18? Yeah, we got way over 18. Good thing is it doesn't matter. Because if it changes to uh, wrought iron, it'll work too. And it seriously looks like it's going to. Yep, it's wrought iron now. There's two. Give me the third. And I only put six in there, so it should be going out. But, just to make sure, because I don't want that thing burning up, we're going to snuff it out. And supposedly, there is a fire extinguisher coming. Hopefully, we can use that on them. To shut them off. Alright, now I swore you could use wrought iron. If you can't use wrought iron, I'm gonna be mad. I know that's the recipe. But to make sure. Oh, yeah, it's wanting just iron plates. Oh, it's because it's icy too. Son of a gun. Um, if I throw this in here, I went down to 19, so there we go. Now, I need one more tin. And I got a tin dust in here. So grab that. And we need that to be a plate as well. And tin does not boil anywhere near. So let that pop out of there. Throw that back in there for now. And there we go. We have a generator. So now we will actually be able to power our motor. And where to put my cutters? There they are. All right, make that and that. And now we'll be able to make our other three RE batteries. And we're gonna need four more wood and we need just a little bit more rubber because we need one more wire all right there we go and there's our last wire. And I'm sure y'all know how to make these. But you get to watch again. So there we go. Battery buffer. Or bat box. Alright, so. You know what? Um. I was just thinking I might want to take this upstairs, but we'll put it here. Alright, I'll put you there. And you were supposed to face up. There we go. Now we got our generator. So now we need our electric motor. Our shredder needs to be powered. Let's see. Energy in. 32. Are you a tick? 
I always thought it said where the power had to go in at. That doesn't say... Oh, wait a minute. Look on the right thing. I was looking at the right thing. Item in the top. Fluid in the top, which it doesn't take fluid. Item out the bottom. So that means it's going to want power from the back. Alright, so... I'm going to put that right there like that. And that right there like that. Oh, it goes from the side. Alrighty, well... Call me a liar. We'll put you like that then. Alright. So now... I'm just going to use some saplings right now. Because I got a butt ton of them. Eh, give me a stack. Put that in there. Let that burn. It looks like it's trying. Let's see if it actually is. I think I'm going to have to screwdriver it. But maybe not. I'm not seeing any progress on it. So... I think I'm going to have to screwdriver it. But for right now... Let's try this. So let this get a little power in it. I'm going to end up making a kill switch for this. So I won't have to do that. And there we go. It's working. So I don't have to use a screwdriver on it. I just got to have enough power in there. This thing's going to take a bunch of power to do one piece apparently let's look here uh, shredder's going to take 4096 EU and this can hold 40,000 so what it has right now it can do one piece So that should be able to kick that out of there. And it didn't. Wow. I'm quite amazed by that. Alright, well. Um, let's throw a little charcoal in here. Let that thing cook a little bit. And looks like I should probably give you some more. I definitely want to keep you running. Doing the things you do. I really need to get a wall over there. Actually, I just need to get out of here and get up there to the base. Alright, so you got 6,000 in you. That should definitely do it now. Let's see if you agree with me or not. Yep, it did it. Kicked it right out the bottom. Alright, so now I can save on my hammers. The only thing is now I need to get a centrifuge so I can centrifuge this stuff. Um, can use an electrolyzer, but I don't think I have the stuff to make one. 
The reason why I want to do this rather than hand wash it is because it's a guaranteed yellow limonite rather than a chance at a yellow limonite. So I'm going to look and see what it's going to take to get a centrifuge made. Let's come on in here so nothing's trying to shoot at me. Alright, now we need to make this right here, it's going to be two bronze gears, long bronze rod, and a robust, so that's not going to be hard to make. It's going to take um, six, twelve, fourteen, plus... That is 15, 19, 23 bronze. And I've got almost a stack of copper, so I should be able to get that made next time around. And I'm going to have to make a couple item pipes. I'm also going to make the kill switch for this um, not sure if I remember what it's actually called so I'll look it up this way uh, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. and yeah it's called cable not wire I was afraid of that Still drives me nuts. This one right here is what I need. An EU splitter. Which is insulated HV. Which is three rubber. And HV which is. I can use that wrought iron plate. That will make me three of them. I only need one. And then. Two redstone. Or actually I need two. Two redstone and a lever. And then I can have that cut the power going to this. So I can turn this up. And then have it cut the power going to that. That way I don't have to keep turning my bat box. So I'm going to work on getting that done. And look at all that. I'm getting a bunch of rubber chips out of there. But since I only, uh, since I need nine for each one, it's only actually six, but it's doing its job. Alright, so, got my shredder done, so I can get some stuff done. Actually start advancing a bit here. A little faster, maybe. I can bust me out a whole bunch of iron. And let's see how much power we got in here. Not a whole lot. And we'll throw these in here too. Alright, so that's going to be the end of it for today. Um, have a good one. Take it easy. And tomorrow we'll see about making a centrifuge to go along with this and then I will um, main thing I'm gonna do with it is get enough aluminum to make a second one because I got all this bauxite here um, problem is I have to electrolyze it and it takes a bunch Hmm, I might look into doing this one. Chemical reactor, sodium aluminate, 
Huh. And then what do you do with that stuff? Evaporize it and it gives you sodium zeolite. And then that's used with used to make that stuff. Yeah, we ain't doing that stuff. But what I can do is I can shred this to make this and that'll give me a tiny one off of each one and I've got almost four stacks there and I've got 18 stacks there that can be done which will end up becoming you know twice that and I do believe there's even more in here yeah I got sandstone box that right there so not a problem and I still need to get up the uh, nerve and also go get some ice so we can actually test making aluminum in the crucible with bauxite I just don't want to do it that way because I'm gonna lose the titanium and I don't want to lose the titanium so as I was saying Take it easy. See you next time.